Back in the winter, or maybe late fall, of 2004 or 2005, one of my friends, Victor the Victim, had an issue with bullying by Chad. I can't remember what the bullying was, I only remember the most epic and nuclear of reactions. Victor attempted suicide and spent weeks out of school before coming back. So this bullying that led to a fist full of prescription pills and Victor getting his stomach pumped in the ER. Not your garden variety bullying. After months of attempts of doing things the right way, unsuccessfully we planned our attack. And yes, I consider it an attack. Before anyone suggests you could have shot his eye out, we discussed that possibility. None of us cared if that was the outcome. Quite simply, we waited until Victor was documented to be at work late one night. Our posse, four of us, gathered up a bunch of paintball guns and equipment, forest camo dark clothes, and jumped the bully in his driveway when he was getting home. We unloaded on him with paintballs not giving two shits about whether or not we shot his eyes out. By the end, he was rolling around covering his face while getting repeatedly shot point blank. We left a note under his windshield wipers. Next time we'll be led. Leave Victor alone. Or you're dead. We also took a bunch of tire irons to his car and smashed the hell out of it. Good thing we were wearing full masks because of the little bits of glass flying everywhere. CSI being a thing and all, we used a new pack of note cards sealed in plastic, gloves and deliberate evil looking handwriting that was less handwriting and more drawings with red ink. When he finally showed up at school, he looked like he had been sent through a meat grinder. He was absolutely covered in blue and black welts and had several bandages on quite a few spots where the skin had been broken. Needless to say the cops were called on the incident and there was a big thing in the morning where the cops went into every homeroom class and asked if anyone knew anything about it. The cops tried to guilt us into confessing having no clue who actually did it. They brought up shit like he could have lost his vision if his eyes had gotten hit, the issue that he may get permanent scars. They eventually showed pictures in the ER of his blood mixing with paintball paint from the welts being so numerous they were on top of each other. The guilt trip strategy to invoke a confession was a good one, except none of us actually felt guilty. Being the smartass we were we pointed the finger at Victor and one other friend who we knew had an alibi, work. He was jumpy and never the same, I straight up think we gave him fairly moderate PTSD from the attack. Like we seriously psychologically damaged him. After a few months, he moved and didn't tell anyone where. I think his parents just straight up left town with the kid and he may or may not have graduated elsewhere. TLDR Bully pushed friend to attempt suicide. We pelted him with paintballs at close range until he was covered in welts and broken mentally and then threatened to straight up murder him. And we smashed the hell out of his car for good measure. Want to submit a story or have some feedback for us? Visit talesfromtheinternet.show or send us an email at feedback at talesfromtheinternet.show.